welcome to Metal Monthly, your one-stop shop for everything going on in metal music over the last month. My name is Rob, I've got a beer because finally I'm recording this in the evening and I can drink. And we're going to be talking about a bunch of metal stuff, facts, interesting things, musician deaths, albums released, fun facts, bunch of stuff. It's going to be great, let's get into it. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> First up, album releases. So a bunch of albums were released last month, so this is a choice few of them and my opinions of them. First up, celebrity sex scandal, The Fundamental. Obviously, I decided to listen to this album just because of the name of the band. Um, I was not expecting them to be that good, and they absolutely are. This band is fantastic. They sound a lot like Primus, which I love, and not enough bands sound like Primus. But actually, saying this I like Primus isn't enough. It is a weird mix of Primus, Slipknot, and Less Than Jake. It is everything I love about music put together in one album. It's absolutely fantastic. This band, I don't know where they've been all my life. The point is, check them out. I cannot articulate how good this band is or what they sound like. You literally just need to listen to them for yourself. Next up, Hatebreed, Weight of the False Self. So this is the newest album from the metalcore band, and I'll have to admit, I didn't really enjoy it that much. I listened to the title song, Weight of the False Self, and it has this really weird spoken word, like lyric stuff that I just didn't get on with because it jarred so much with the, the style of music. And then I listened to some older stuff from Hatebreed, and it's exactly the same. It's just the style of music they do. It doesn't really gel with me. So I imagine if you're a Hatebreed fan, this will sound really good because it sounds like their other stuff. Next up, Cadaver, Edda and Bile. I thought this band was someone entirely different. I don't know if I was thinking of Campbell Corpse, but it's something else to do with Dead Bodies. So Edda and Bile is the first album from Cadaver for 16 years. And I love that. I love when bands just come back and keep doing stuff. So what's it sound like? Well, it's black metal, so it is like noise. <laughs> it's very rough vocals, very fast drums and the guitars are more like just noise rather than riffs. Uh, but I really liked it, actually. It's the kind of music I listen to when I'm feeling very anxious or having a panic attack and I need to calm myself down because the drum beat matches my own heartbeat. It's that fast. <laughs> also, the music video for their song Morgue Ritual shows a person throwing up blood for a significant amount of time. So that's fun. And lastly, obviously I needed to talk about this, ACDC Power Up. So this is the first album from ACDC since 2014's Rock or Bust, and it is classic ACDC all the way through. You listen to this album and you go, that's ACDC. They have that sound that no one else can mimic or copy. It is their sound. Except maybe for Airborne, who are the Australian ACDC. Mm. Anyway, it's a really good album. It's classic ACDC. If you like ACDC, you will like this. It sounds like every other album, and that is a compliment. The album kind of serves as a tribute to Malcolm Young, who passed away in 2017, and honestly, I can't think of a better tribute to him than putting out another album that sounds absolutely fantastic. Okay, I've put the beard down for this bit because I didn't feel like it was right, because this next bit is Musician Deaths. Every month, I think it's just right to honour the metal musicians who have passed away over the past four weeks. And in November, there were three musicians who passed away. First of all, Ken Hensley, the former keyboardist of Uriah Heep, who passed away at the wonderful old age of 75. Next up, Aaron Meltzer, the former vocalist of the band Secrets, who passed away on the 25th of November. And lastly, Jameer Garcia, the vocalist of Slapshot, who passed away on the 26th of November. Obviously, condolences to all of their families. Next up, Music Festival Explorer. Um, if you didn't know, that is my website. I have a website, it's called Music Festival Explorer. It is a blog all about music festivals, advice, stories, things like that, a place for me to just talk about my own festival experiences and a bunch of other stuff. So in the past month, I have written two blog posts for Music Festival Explorer, my website, Music Festival Explorer. <laughs> So I have written about how System of a Down have finally released some new music and also some tips on a buying guide for the essentials for if you have a festival addict in your family if you're trying to buy for them and you want to buy, buy them something nice like a tent or a sleeping bag, something essential and practical like that, I've written a bit of a guide for that. So check it out, link in the description, that'd be great. Got my beer back for this one. Because this is the fun stories section of the video. Now, normally I do one fun story, but I couldn't find one story that was big enough to talk about. So we've just got a few smaller fun stories to discuss right now, and it's gonna be great. So first off, speaking of System of a Down, the music video for Chop Suey has become the first metal music video to reach 1 billion views on YouTube. 
So congratulations to System for that. And great news, the advertising revenue from that video has meant that System of a Down have earned 15 pounds. <laughs> Next up, uh, remember that weird TV Christian evangelist in America who refused to accept that Joe Biden had won the US presidency and then laughed like a madman? Uh, well, a YouTuber, Andre Antunes, who is a musician, does a lot of this kind of thing, has turned that clip into an actual full metal song. The media said what? <laughs> the media said Joe Biden. So there's a link in the description to the full video, you should absolutely check it out, it is wonderful. And finally, because we're now getting into Christmas time in December, I am super excited for Christmas and I want to just talk about it right now. Um, there has recently been released a new metal Christmas song. Now, metal music doesn't really have many Christmas songs. We've got Corey Taylor's Xmas and The Darkness, um, Christmas Time, Don't Let the Bells End. Now, one of those is a joke song and one of them is The Darkness, so no one takes it seriously. There aren't that many Christmas songs that are by metal musicians. So, Dee Snyder of Twisted Sister fame and Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm, obviously, have released a Christmas song together. It is called The Magic of Christmas Day, which sounds very lovely, and I listened to it and it's a good song. It's not a parody, it's not stupid, you're not meant to laugh at it, it's not leaning into the cheesiness of it. It's just a really good Christmas song that happens to be metal. I genuinely cannot overemphasize how good this song is. Considering it's a metal Christmas song anyway. Anyway, that is all for me. That is all the interesting facts and things I have for you today. If you listened to any of the albums I mentioned earlier, let me know in the comments what you think of them. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rob. You can check me out on all of the social medias at Overage Kid. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.